Previously on Star Wars, Verily, A New Hope. It is a period of civil war. What secret mission? And what plans? What dost thou talk about? No help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi help. Thou art mine only hope. Who is she? I truly do not know, sir. A person of importance, I believe. Pray tell. What what is? Thy father's lightsaber. On Solo, at thy service, gentlemen, the great Millennium Falcon is my ship. My first mate Chewie tells me ye seek safe passage to the system Alderaan. Thou mayst continue with thy weapons tests. Mayst thou fire when all's prepared. Commence primary ignition. That is no moon. Tis a space station there. A freighter hath been captured entering the system Alderaan. Its markings match a ship that hath Mos Eisley quickly fled. This errant ship be like endeavours to return the plans unto the princess who within this base is locked in guarded cell. Perhaps the princess yet hath use to us. No person is aboard the ship, my lord. The log maintained on board doth tell a tale of all the crew abandoning the ship directly after its departure. Tis no doubt a decoy, sir, for all the pods have launched been. Hast thou found any droids? Nay, truly not, my lord. If there had been, then surely must they have abandoned too. Send thou a scanning crew aboard the ship, and check its nooks and crannies every bit. Aye, good, my lord. Distracted is my mind, but through its cloudy haze the reason comes. Unless I am in error, someone here has come. I have not felt this presence since the days that are but dark in memory. This presence I have known since I was young. This presence that once called me closest friend. This presence that hath all my hopes betrayed. This presence that hath turned my day to night. This awful presence present here must be. So shall I to this presence violence present. Now to thy work, and scan the ship. The scan is done. No living soul is here. Their use hath ever been for smuggling goods. Near have I thought I would myself herein be smuggling. All we do is madness fee. If I could start the ship, the tractor beam would wrap its eagle's talons round my neck. The tractor beam thou mayest leave unto me. Thou fool. I knew that thou would say as much. I? Say thou fool? Then fool, good sir, am I. But when thou sayest fool, remember well that fools do walk in foolish company. So if I'm a fool, perhaps tis true that other fools around me may be found. For who is he who hath more foolish been, the fool or other fool who follows him? Pray hear a sound. Aye, truly, I quite clearly heard a sound. Thine ears mayhap play tricks on thee, my friend. Nay, nay, dost thou not think this strange? What strange? The droids did flee the ship we have attacked, and unto Tatooine have gone by pod. Tis true, thus far? I cannot claim it is false. On Tatooine, they have been traced first to Jawa's vile and then to humans. Dead? Aye, dead. They are. Our men did see to it, but follow on. The boy who with them lived hath fled we knew not where, till he was seen at Yon Moss Isley with the pair of droids. Aye, aye. Twas all in last week's briefing. Pray, what more of this? Hast thou aught new to say? The boy and the droids together disappeared the very hour the ship, this ship, did fly. And now, the ship is here, though empty seems. Nay, empty it is. The scanning crew doth work e'en now. Which bringeth me full circle to the sound I have just heard. Is possible, my friend, that boy and the droids and rebels all have flown within this ship and to this base, and yet, e'en now, whilst thou and I do speak, still hide within the ship? I am amazed. I verily, thinkst thou I may be right? 
I said, thou hast amazed me, and tis true. But never did I say I think thee right. Thou dost amaze by thy overactive thoughts. A hidden boy, the droids within, a fig. Avant, thou silly god, be not so thick. Thy great imagination hath o'erwrought thy better senses. Thinkest thou thy powers of judgment far exceed our masters true? Mayst thou outwit the great Darth Vader, or the cunning of our governor Tarkin? Nay, we are but simple guards. Our purpose here is plain and to the point. We have been tasked to watch the ship and follow all commands, and not to prattle on with airy thoughts. Aye, thou hast spoken a well-considered word. Thou art a friend, as I have ere maintained, and thou hast spoken truth and calmed me quite. The rebels hide herein. What vain conceit, that ere they should the Death Star enter. It warms my heart to see thee so restored, and back to thine own merry native self. Pray, may we have thy good assistance in here? So let us go together, friend. Good cheer! Say, TK421, now wherefore hast thou left thy station? TK421, canst thou my message hear? Uh, take thou command. It be like he hath a bad transmitter. So shall I attend and help him if I may. Now through the doorway come our heroes brave. The Imperial officers Chewbacca fights, whilst Han with blaster doth his entry pave. Owie! They have arrived. Escape is in their sight. Fie! With all this howling nonsense and with all thy blasting, tis a miracle that all within the station have not heard of our arrival. Surely, let them come. A fight would I prefer to sneak in yon and hither. Beep, meep, beep, squeak. We have the outlet for the system found. Tis well. Plug R2 in and he shall read the whole Imperial network. Beep, meep, beep, squeak. Now. Hath he found the main control unto the power beam that holds the ship herein? He shall attempt to show thee, presently, where its exact location may be found. The tractor beam in seven places is connected to the main reactor, but a power loss at any terminal shall set the good Millennium Falcon free. That number seven shall our freedom mean, but only one of seven shall we need. I fear those numbers, seven and then one. Do something dangerous portend? But why? Our company is only six, unless there were another joined unto us here. Then were we seven, yet what means the one? Oh, strangely sweeps the thought into my mind, I have a feeling through the force that ere we leave this place, some seven shall we be. Yet one shall stay behind as sacrifice. Thus seven and thus one, the numbers tell the story that herein shall soon be told. Methinks ye two cannot assist me now. This one, e and I, shall go alone. Aye, good. So shall I hearken unto what thou says? For I already on this voyage have done more than that for which I have been paid. I would go with thee, sir. Pray, patience, Luke, for thou must stay and guard the vital droids. They must be taken safely to our friends, or other systems end like Alderaan. Thy destiny, dear boy, doth truly go upon a path far different from mine. And fate for thee hath spun another thread than what she hath for Obi-Wan's life stitched. The Force, it shall be with thee always, Luke. He hath bestowed a Jedi's blessing here, so why am I utterly unnerved? Wookie, thou hast spoken well and true. Whence hast thou this old bag of bones uncovered? Yon Ben in all good virtues doth excel. Ay, certain, he excelleth when the goal is but to lead us into trouble great. But thou hast not excelled at offering a thought to how we can the station skate. Yet any simple plan excelleth o'er remaining here till all descend on us. It taketh not a wisdom that excels to know for certain fact that such is true. By heavens, I'll stop there beckoning with this new information. Beep, meep, beep, beep, squeak, beep, beep, meep, beep, wee. I prithee, 
What doth all his beeping mean? Sir, I confess I do not know. He hath declared that he hath found her. Then the droid repeats, she's here, she's here. But, marry who? Good Princess Leia. Princess Leia? Here! What sayest of princess? Where, thou droid? Say where! What princess? On thy life this thing unveil. Beep, 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 meep. E'en now, the princess is on level five, detention block of AA23. Oh, me! This new discovery of mine doth shake my core and shall arouse their souls. I fear, good sir, it doth give me certain news the princess shall be terminated soon. Nay, nay, so quickly met and now with this so quickly lost, now must we swiftly act. What dost thou prattle on about? Pray, tell. Uh Oh, how can one describe in simple words the import this mysterious woman hath upon my life? The droids, these droids are hers. She hath appeared in message urgent too. I see thou canst not understand it well. Yet what I know is this. We must give her water unflagging help and hope we may. Speak not with such great folly. Obi-Wan hath told us to remain. Yet knew he not that she is here. Pray, tell me how we may make our way straight to the detention block. I say again what I have said before. To this location is my purpose fixed. And whether the princess be within or no... I tell thee plain, I shall not thither go. She shall be executed. Thou hast said, mere minutes past, that thou wouldst not remain, to see our sudden, sure imprisonment. Now is thy fondest wish that we should stay. To march to the detention blocks, unwise, to make our way to danger folly tis. To there present ourselves is passing mad. To boldly go where none hath gone is wild. Hast thou no heart? She sentenced is to die. My sentence is... "'Tis better she than I. "'How shall I break a heart that loveth not? "'And how convince a man who lives by wits? "'He hath not seen the urgency within her eyes. "'He hath not known the trembling in her voice. "'He hath not heard the manner of her plea. "'And yet, without his help, I fear my errand surely fails. "'What shall I do? "'I know that under his exterior more good and noble aspirations lie. "'But by what tricks of speech to bring them forth, "'and what persuasion shall his fixed will move?' My well, Aunt Brew hath told me once a tale. She said, when first the deep, vast Kessel mines were dug, it was revealed that the pearls of greatest value must by clever means discovered be. So did the miners band together, so to make a useful tool. This tool would pull the pearls out of the rock in such a way they seemed to merge by ruse. This practice had a name, the hammer ploy. Now shall I play a hammer's ploy upon the soul of his good smuggler coaxing him by means most indirect to rescue good? Thus may the pearl of his still ragged soul reveal it to be and shine as near before. I tell thee true, the lady wealthy and is. Say, wealthy? Wealthy, I, with power. If thou wouldst rescue her, thy great reward would be... Pray, what? Well... More, I'll warrant, then, thou mayst imagine. Ha! Thou josh with me, for my imagine hath few bounds. Thou shalt have it! So would I. I, thou wilt! Enough, I am engaged, but I do hope thou knowest well of what thou speakest here. Well, well? Hast thou a plan? See, Threepio, I prithee pass those binding cuffs to me. Good Wookie, I shall put these on thee now. <laughs> Han! Perhaps thou shouldst that honour have. Fear not, dear Chewy, now his plan is plain. My master Luke, forgive my question, Frank. What should we do if we discovered our... Lock thou the door! And pray they've blasted none. Tis not a reassuring word. Beep, beep. So now, Chewbacca, Han and Luke proceed unto detention level five, quite grave. With bravery, good hope, and all God's speed, their errand is a princess there to save. The minions of the Death Star pay no mind, nor are they by these three at all dismayed. They do not fear the Wookiee, for behind are Han and Luca's stormtroopers arrayed. Meanwhile, in stealth, does Obi-Wan pass by, and to the terminal doth make his way. But while he goes, Darth Vader feels him fly, so every character his role doth play. 
thy plan, it shall not work. And wherefore hast thou not said his ear now? Ay, but I have. By heaven, I say, where takest thou this thing? This prisoner hath been transferred here from cell 1138. No one hath told me so. Thus tis my duty to confirm thy word. <coughs> With blasters raised and targets in their scopes, the three do overtake the imperial threat. This obstacle overcome, they have fresh hopes, but still their way hath not been made clear yet. Now shall we see wherein thy princess lies. I saith herein she now is held in cell 2187. Go! I'll hold them here. O oh, be not anxious, comrades, fear ye not. The situation here hath been controlled. But what hath happened? "'Tis no matter, sir, a slight malfunction of the weapons here, but all is well, and we are all well, and all within are well. The prisoners, too, are well. Tis well, tis well. And thou art also well?" "'We shall dispatch a squad to verify.' "'Nay, there's a leak in the reactor here. Pray, give us more time to mend the matter well. The leak is large and dangerous, but fear thou not, for all I tell thee true is well.' "'But who art thou? And what's thy number code?' That conversation did my spirits bore. Now, Luke, prepare thyself for company. Thou truly art in jest. Art thou not small of stature if thou art a stormtrooper? Does empire shrink for want of taller troops? The empire's evil ways, I'll grant, are grand. But must its soldiers want for fear of height? So hath my introduction fallen short. She sees the uniform, but not the man. Luke Skywalker am I, I have thy droids. My noble errand is to rescue thee, and I with Ben Kenobi have come here. With Ben Kenobi? Where is he? I tell thee he is here. Old Obi-Wan Kenobi? Wherefore dost thou think tis so? A tremor in the force hath been my guide, when last I felt its movement was in the presence of my former master he. Twas years ago. He must be dead by now. Thou shouldst not underestimate the power the Force doth hold. The Jedi are extinct. Their power from the universe is gone. And thou, dear friend, art all that doth remain of their misguided, old, religious ways. Pray, what? Detention AA-23 hath sounded an emergency alert. The Princess! Fine! Put thou all sections on alert. I tell thee, Obi-Wan is here. E'en now and surely with him is the Force. If thou art right, he must not be allowed this station to escape. Nay, never, nay. The Master's lessons shall I teach in turn, when Obi-Wan I face in battle soon. I shall my vengeance win, my triumph gain, when I deliver him unto his death. Though comrades were we in full many wars, though friends we have been once, the past is gone, and all is but a horrid memory. Today my hopes shall be achieved when I strike down the vile betrayer of my youth. This conflict shall fulfil my destiny, and end for him in bleak eternity. With hearty blast the imperial troops appear, their coming doth require that Han retreat. In moment dangerous, amidst great fear, here Han and Leia for the first time meet. Our oh, exit's blocked now. With a fool's great skill, hast thou our route to freedom quite cut off? Mayhap thy highness would prefer her cell. See through, Pio! Canst thou by any means discover how we made the cell block leave? Our entry point is now a deadly end. Or to thy presence have alerted me. The entrance only takes one in or out. All other information, where thou art, have been restricted. Now are we quite trapped? I cannot hold them back forever, sure. Tis quite a rescue thou hast planned for me. Thou hast come in, but how shalt thou go out? Hath folly been my guide? He have the plan, not I, thou sweet heart of ingratitude. It falls to me to make our rescue good. By what dark sprite of hell art thou possessed? Now follow me into the refuse heap. Go thou hence. <laughs> 
Get in, thou furry lump, I care not what thou smelts within, unless tis death must be a sweeter smell than this. Attack, now go, be not afeard, my friend. I say, what charming girl thou here hast found, I either shall destroy her, or perhaps I may in time begin to like the wench. Nay, executioner or lover, both are far too great for a role for thee to play. Now go and follow I, all else be damned. The scene doth shift unto the refuse space, where all is rot, as like a funeral pyre, though safe, our heroes other woes now face. They go from frying pan unto the fire. Oh, what wonder if the human mind hath thought to bring us here. Your Highness must be lauded greatly for discovering such a wondrous smell as this. Ah, oh, blast the door, swiftly get thee hence. Nay, prithee, shoot thou not. Thou errant knave. Wouldst thou undo us all? I've already tried to exit thus, but lo, as thou now plainly seest thou brute, the passageway is sealed magnetically. Now, rid us of that blaster, quickly too, else shall thine edgy trigger finger mean the certain death of us all herein. Oh, I thy worship, ha! Huh? T'was all in my control till thou didst lead us to this heap, nor shall the stormtroopers need any time to calculate where all of us have flown. And yet, I say to you, it could be worse. Tis worse. I'll warrant something lives in here. I expect his word is true, but fear to say. Tis but thy keen imagination, Luke. Twas not just my imagination that hath now swum boldly past my leg. Or else imagination now hath body too. I there, did thine eyes see? Did but a mere imagined figment just swim by? See what? <laughs> Yet ere young Luke with answer can respond, he's pulled into the watery depths below. For several moments in that garbage pond, no sign is seen beneath the murky flow. An ominous sound breaks forth into the pit, and seconds later Luke emerges, spent. The beast's pursuit of him for now is quit. A greater challenge doth this represent. A miracle that thou art truly saved. What happened there below the briny sludge? I do not know. The slimy creature hath released its vice like grip on me and fled. I have a bad feeling about this sound. The walls, oh horrid fate, begin to move. Be not afeard and stand thou not in awe, but rouse thee now and halt its sure approach. Now lend me thy assistance. <laughs> Say, art thou there? Pray, speak! But while he tries to hail the golden droid, C-3PO hath troubles of his own, for stormtroopers are to their room deployed, and now the droids must save themselves alone. Oh, grant us help, for there are madmen here, who have e'en now to the prison level gone. If thou but hurry, thou mayst catch them there. Well said, my friend, he hath a merry wit, when pride and scorn fall not from out his mouth. Aye, prithee fellows, come and follow me. Dripio! Now, climb on top. In faith, I try. Where is the knave? See Dripio! I fear a wicked fate's befallen them. Pray, R2, see if they imprisoned are. Now, search a pace. One thing is certain, we shall finna be. I shall not lose my wit, e'en in death's face. Beep, beep, beep. They are not found. Oh, great relief. Where may they be? Beep, beep, beep. Who? squeak. Use the comm link. Oh, I had forgotten quite and turned it off. Pray, art thou there, sir? Thropio, tis thou? I will confess, we have some problems faced. Peace. 3PO, lend ears and not thy voice. Disarm thou every refused masher on detention levels. Dost thou mark me droids? Be rapid, else thy master is no more. Nay, 
Shut them all down. Hurry, R2. Go. Beep me poo wee. No heart within this golden breast doth beat, for only wires and circuit boards are here. Yet, as I hear my master's dying screams, no heart is necessary for my grief. A joy to have sadnesses, and hopes and fears, and each of these emotions have I felt since Master Luke appeared and made me his. No master have I irrespected so, thus at this moment grave I do declare, there is no etiquette for shedding tears, no protocol can ear express my woe. A plague on 3PO for action slow, a plague upon my quest that led us here, a plague on both our circuit boards, I say. Nay, nay, fear not, dear droid, we are still live. Pray open thou the door on maintenance hatch. Three, two, six, eight, two, seven, blessed be. Oh, fondest hope, oh, fervent prayers now heard. My master is alive and plagues the turd. While Luke and Leah, Han and Chewie flee, old Obi-Wan has reached the power source. He cuts the tractor beam quite cunningly, then makes his exit drawing on the Force. What do these warnings tell? Should we explore? Be like tis just a drill and nothing more. Alas! Poor stormtrooper, I knew ye not, yet I have tamed both uniform and life from thee. What manner of a man wert thou? A man of infinite jest or cruelty? A man with helpmate and with children too? A man who hath his empire served with pride? A man perhaps who wished for perfect peace? Whate'er thou wert, good man, thy pardon grant, unto the one who took thy place, e'en me. If we may female given advice avoid, we should be well upon our merry way. Aye, stand I ready to be gone from here. Say, where dost thou go to, Wookie? Where? Thou brute, they shall overhear. Pray, come thou here, Chewbacca, else I brand thee cowardly. Now, use thine ears, and if thou hast thy brain, I know not who thou art or whence thou came, yet from this moment thou shalt heed my words. Your worship. Prithee let me be direct. I have one lord and master, tis myself, and only from that one take I commands. A wonder, great, that thou art still alive. Now, prithee, shall this walking carpet be removed from my path? A saucy wit, a wicked tongue that will be tamed, I vow. No other payment is reward enough. There it is. C-3PO, say, art thou there? Aye, sir. And art thou safe? For now we are. We are positioned in the hangar, just across, directly from the gallant ship. And we are just above thee, so stand by. Hast thou come here in that ungainly heap? Thou art perhaps then braver than I thought. Tis well and good, though I need not thy praise. Now let us hence and to the ship repair. The foursome toward the ship with swift foot race, but soon they meet with opposition dire. Chewbacca goes with Han, both giving chase, while Luke and Leah to other paths aspire. Fly hence, my friends, and meet us at the ship. A lion's share of courage, hath he not? Alas, now is her heart moved unto him. What help is courage if it leads to death? But come now, let us flee another way. The chase is underway as all make haste. Han, once pursuer, soon becomes pursued, when with a mass of stormtroopers he's faced, he turneth quick as like a man unglued. Meanwhile the princess and young Luke do flee, from troopers coming after them with speed. They happen on an open door and see, a chasm pass which they cannot proceed. Be like we have an errant corner turned, for this deep hole leads not unto the ship. Forsooth. Methinks that we shall safer be, e'en with the pit behind a door shut fast. Yet now I see no lock we may employ, so what for our dear freedom is the key? I take a note from Han and blast to use, belike that shall keep enemies at bay. We must overleap this deep abyss somehow. Pray, canst thou use thy sharp and earnest wit to find a means for lengthening the bridge? Oh! Now the wisdom of old Obi-Wan is proven, 
for the blaster is too harsh. Do something, prithee, or they shall burst through. So clever Luke the scene he doth survey, and soon conceives a noble plan to cross, to take their flight and save them sans delay. He bears a length of rope as thin as floss. Attacked now Leia matches fire with fire, and so they cross, a swinging o'er the abyss. But ere they fly, the princess doth inspire more strength in Luke by means of royal kiss. A kiss for luck before our flight, dear friend. A kiss upon thy cheek from lips of mine. A kiss to give thee hope and confidence. A kiss to bring us courage in this time. Now, take this kiss, my gift, bestowed by choice, and on the other side will soon rejoice. While droids do worry o'er their master's fate, Hans and Chewbacca make their swift escape. While Luke and Leah now in safety wait, A mighty final duel taketh shape. For certain I have waited, Obi-Wan, And now at last we meet together here, Our destinies once and for all fulfilled, The circle of our lives is now complete. A student was I when I left thee last, but now I am the master over thee. Thou art her master, Darth. I know tis true, but only evil hast thou mastered yet. In time thy powers have weak become, old man. And yet thou canst not win our warrant, Darth. For if thou strike me down, e'en now, e'en here, I shall more great and powerful become than ere thou hast imagined possible. I tell thee plain, thou shouldst not have returned. What noble battle passes twixt these men? Lightsabers rage from Sith and Jedi Knight. No more courageous battle hath there been. Tis like the day does combat with the night. Now whilst the two in conflict strike their blows, the others come that they the ship may find. At first Han Solo with Chewbacca shows, then Luke and Princess Leia just behind. Did we not just this frightening party leave? Where hast thou been? Hast thou seen any problems with the ship? It seemeth fine that we may make approach and get beyond the stormtroopers. I then my fondest hope is that thine Obi-Wan have vanquished the wicked tractor beam. Behold, what ease! The stormtroopers, go hence! Now tis our chance. Good R2-D2, come! Aye, will he now be leading me? Fly, fly, good friends, and to the ship, make haste! As everyone unto the ship draws nigh, young Luke sees Obi-Wan trade slice with slice, and Ben Kenobi, catching young Luke's eye, prepares to make a gracious sacrifice. A Jedi is not made of fear or hate, but must a nobler countenance display. It is a lesson learned in times gone by that still I teach myself unto this day. Full many years I spent with thoughts of this, this instant when Darth Vader I'd confront. But now my thirst for retribution's cold, while sweet forgiveness doth my spirit taste. I know I cannot win this battle here, nor would I wish to slay the kindly man who surely still within this black shell lives. And so, unto this death I'll go, this sleep, this sleep that promises the dream of peace, this undiscovered galaxy wherein I'll know at last tranquility of heart, but ere I die, but ere I die, I'll one last lesson teach. I shall in this, my final moment, set a keen example for the universe that future generations may yet know the valour and strength of Jedi Knights. Put up thy lightsaber now, Obi-Wan, and show thyself a Jedi to this sun. The cry of nay escapes Luke's trembling lip, and stormtroopers turn round to see them there. A battle great begins before the ship, as to the falcon these brave souls repair. But ere the group departs amid the fray, 
Luke hears the voice of Obi-Wan inside. Pray run, Luke run, the inner voice doth say, and Luke the Death Star leaves with force as guide. Act 5, Scene 1. Space aboard the Millennium Falcon. My heart doth break at this most recent loss, and how shall heart be healed of this grave pain? My aunt and uncle first, and now this Ben, did dear a person know such grief as mine? His heart breaks for a person, Obi-Wan. My heart breaks for a people, Orderan. My ship's crushed first, and now my planet too? Did ear a person of such a grief as ours? I have but known this man a little time, yet in my heart he holds a special place. So had I hoped to learn from him the force, and be his eager new apprentice too? My Orderan, I've known for all my life, and hold it in my heart in highest esteem. So had I hoped to one day make it my home when this rebellion all is passed away. But now must I another pathway take and make my final destiny sans him. My hopes shall not fulfilled be as planned, yet may I hope to serve through different deeds. But now must I some other course adopt, and write my life's own story without them. My dream shall not be realised as I wished, yet may I dream to see some other fate. Thus shall I strive to hold my head up high, and be a beacon to this princess dear, so I'll in her rebellion play my part and show her what a Jedi knight may be. Thus shall I strive to hold my hand outstretched, and be a calming presence to this man, so I'll in his deep mourning act my role, and show him what a comfort friends may be. We now approach the Empire's sentry ships. I prithee, Chewy, keep the ships at bay and angle our deflector shields, whilst I do charge the weapons for our sure defence. My friends, I know ye grieve most heartily, yet we have not made our escape complete. I need thy help, so get thee to the guns. With newfound strength, Luke rises to the chore and finds the consul opposite from Han. With lasers armed and engines all aroar, TIE fighters swiftly come, the battle's on. <laughs> Now be thou sharp, young Luke. They come and on. They come too fast. How shall we hold them off? The ship is struck. All lateral controls have been destroyed. Oh, heaven! Be not afeard. I warrant that the ship shall surely hold. O oh, ship, has heard my word? I prithee hold. Now have I smashed one. Well, thou worthy lad. But be thou not too full of pride and joy. When battle's won, then mayst thou boast indeed. But none are boasted yet who bested were. Still, two remain, so be thou bold and wise. With shouts and sweat and every skill employed, young Luke and Han contend with all their might. At length the last TIE fighter is destroyed, and battle ends in fiery blast of light. We are the victors! Merry is the day! But I have fallen! Help! Oh, help me now! Tis surely thy fault. Hard to do, you see? Beep, 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 meep, beep, squeak, beep, meep, squeak, who? Now, have they gone? The rebels truly fled? They have e'en now the jump to light speed made. And thou art sure? I prithee, say thou art. For home in beacon safe aboard the ship have placed been. I fear this risk's unwise. The risk and homing beacon both have been well placed. Thou, Tarkin, be assured thereon. Tis well, good friend, I trust thy word herein. Yet would I have thee known what danger's here, while well, I have risked the world to let them flee, since thou dost reassure the risk's on thee. Thy rescue hath been wondrous, thinkest thou not? Say I, at times I do myself amaze. Amazing hath my rescue of thee been. Amazing is my hand at piloting. Amazing all my part in this escape. Amazing I, it is true, my handsome looks. Amazing is thy pride and love of self. Thus stand I now amazed that ere thou should allow thy great, amazing self to stoop so low that thou would rescue such as I. But let me now amaze thee, if I may, by telling thee that thy amazement is misplaced. For never have imperial ships let enemies escape 
with such great ease as thou and thy amazing vessel just now amazingly escaped. Nay, nay, callest thou this venture easy, princess? Pish. I'll warrant we are being tracked e'en now. This ship shall never track it be, good sis. Methinks thou dost upon this vessel far too great a trust bestow. But none of that. I am merely relieved that Artu doth the information safely in him guard. But wherefore does this matter, princess, say? What carries he? Rebellion's greatest hope. For he doth hold the readabouts technical unto the battle station. I, the one that such great power displayed over Alderan. My hope is that when the data can be read and in a weakness shall be found. Though thou hast seen this battle end, the war has not concluded yet. But there thou erst, thou dost not speak my mind, for this ship and its pilot, princess, tis concluded now. I have not joined thy revolution, nay, my purpose runs not to the rebellion help, my purpose runs not to assist thyself. My purpose runs towards one aim alone, and I do speak it plain. I shall be paid, and I will be paid, and every aspect of my being lives in expectation of the moment when thou shalt my coffers fill. O oh, fiendish knave, be thou concerned not over thy reward. If thou in money dost find love, then surely shalt thou have it, I, <laughs> Thy friend is every part a hired man, a mercenary with no mercy be. I question whether he doth care for aught, or... Anyone. But I do care, I do. If only Leia thou didst know how much. Pray, tell me, Han, what dost thou think of her? I tell thee true, my mind is settled fast when it thinks not of her. Tis well, tis well. Now it is plain to me why he doth ask. The boy doth fancy her, I'll warrant else. I've made a great mistake in judgment here. What use are young men's dreams if not for mocking? So I shall dance upon his tender heart. And yet... Alas! A yet! What's this of yet? The woman truly have a spirit bold, and yet I know not. What thinkest thou, I pray? Thinkest thou a princess could with me be? Nay. The swift millennium falcon makes its course unto the place the empire long has sought. On Yavin 4 rebellion hath its source, o'er which the final battle shall be fought. Good princess, thou art safe. When word we heard about the cruel destruction of thy home, we feared the worst. But now to see thee safe is like a fragrant blossom to my sense. The records our two holds are analysed, and lo, an opportunity appears. The rebel straighter of the news apprised, and hearts made ready as the battle nears. But whilst they mine good R2's database, the Empire learns where all the rebels wait. The Death Star makes its way unto the place to bring to Yavin Alderaan's grim fate. Now, gather round ye pilots good and true, for here shalt thou a goodly lesson learn. We have a single hope in this attack, and ye shall hear how we may compass it. The battle station, heavily shielded, is, and hath more power to fire than half our fleet. It hath defences against a large assault, but, like the king who fell for want of horse, this station may be crushed by smaller might. A one-man fighter may have strength to clear the outer walls and penetrate therein. Beg pardon, sir, but how I prithee shall a one-man fighter stand its ground against that? Question asked in wisdom, tis good friend. The Emperor Vast hath not considered small snub fighters to be any threat, methinks, else surely it would make suitable defence. The strongest people often put their faith upon the strength alone, yet often such as these are bested by a people led by wisdom, skill and cunning. To the point, the plans provided by the Princess show the battle station's fatal weakness. Aye, a weakness do I call it, yet be sure, the hard approach therein shall perilous be. Thou must manoeuvre through the trench above the surface unto this especial point. There shalt thou find the glory spot, my lads. There shalt thou, with a blast most keenly shot, bring down an empire cruel and merciless. But take ye heed, for all is not yet told. The hole thou must attempt to strike is but two metres wide, a thermal pipe for waste. This hole shall make thy laser's power grow. This hole shall start a chain reaction great. This hole, if thou canst hit it, wins the day. 
This hole shall end the battle station hole. But, sir, the odds of such a hit are nil. Tis near impossible. Shall we, I say, attempt this madness, or mayhap tis best if we do live to fight another day? If we had but another thousand ships. Friends, rebels, star fighters, lend me your ears. Wish not we had a single fighter more. If we are marked to die, we are enough to make our planets proud. But should we win, we fewer rebels share the greater fame. We all have sacrificed unto this cause. Ye all know well the family I have lost. My uncle dear and aunt beloved, I both. And then a mental great, a powerful friend. As massive is the grief I feel for them, I know full well they'd not have me back down. The princess hath a planet lost with friends and family alike. Oh, how great her pain. And yet as grave as that emotion is, she knoweth they would have her led us still. And ye, ye goodly men and women too, ye all have lived and loved and lost as well. Your stories are with mine, one and the same, for all of us have known of grief and joy. And every one has come unto this day, not so that we may turn our backs and flee, but that we may a greater courage show, both for ourselves and those we've left behind. So let us not wish further ships were here, and let us not of tiny holes be feared. Why, I have, with a T-16 back home, gone hunting womp brats scarcely larger than the target we are called upon to strike. And ye, ye brave souls, have your memories of your great exploits in your own homelands. So think of them and let your valour rise, for with the force and bravery we win. Oh, great shall be the triumph of that hour, when empire haughty, vast and powerful, is felled by simple hands of rebels' base, is shown the might of our good company. And citizens in Bespin, now abed, shall think themselves accursed they were not here. For never shall rebellion see a time more glorious than our strong attack today. Go ye then, and force be with you all. A bustling preparation now is made as every man unto his post doth go. A joyful spirit doth the base pervade, whilst on the death star pride doth overflow. This day I'll warrant lives in history. The end of old Kenobi it hath seen, and end of the rebellion draweth near. Now what is this? Thou hast thine only love, thy dear reward, and now thou leavest quick? Tis true, I do confess, for I shall ne'er be free unless I use this great reward to clear me from the crushing weight of debt. And be thou honest, should I remain to fight against a power as great as this? Tis foolish, this fight, tis lunacy. Pray, Luke, come with us, thou art a brave and worthy lad with wit and strength to fight. Speak thou not so, but open up thine eyes. See here what noble cause thou leavest behind. Look in the hearts of these good people here. Behold the force that keeps the rebellion strong. Thou must have eyes to see what happens here, how great the cost of this bleak battle is. Thou knowest well what talent thou dost hold, to pilot and to lead with manner bold. Turn not thy back upon thy fate, good Han, but turn thy heart and stay with us to fight. What value have reward when one is killed? What benefit gives honour to the dead? To try the fight against that station, Luke, it's not courage, rather suicide. Then take thou care now, Han, thou solo act, for certain tis the part thou best dost play. Nay, listen, may the force be with thee, Luke. The ship that flies without a thruster fails. Propulsion and direction must one have to navigate the obstacles of space. I know it is true, as any pilot doth. Then how can I imagine that a man can fly without a conscience as his guide? Without the inner compass of my soul? How can I vainly hope to pilot life? I know what tis to choose the right and good. I know the small rebellion's cause is just. I know the people here have need of help. I know of this, but still do harbour doubt. Yet shall my doubts lead me unto this choice, and shall I choose convenience over right? Or shall I choose myself o'er my new friends? I shall I choose rewards o'er my own soul? My smuggler's heart doth keep calm inside, no matter sways a pirate's peaceful pulse. And something stirs in me I near have felt. Is this a rebellion's heart I feel within? Say, Luke! Dear Biggs! It warms my heart to see thee here, good friend. Shalt thou go with us hence against the Empire? Aye, on our return I'll bend thine ears with stories wild and true. I pray thee, Luke, canst thou these ships control? I'll stand as witness, sir. 
that Luke shall prove more worthy than myself. I'll warrant he's the best of pilots in the outer rim. Fear not this one, good sir. He'll earn his way. Good lad, thou shalt suffice. I, Mary, sir, I'll do my part. Now must we leave a go, but when we come again unto this place, I'll drink with thee a dram of Naboo's ale, whilst thou thy tales relate. Say, Biggs, take note, for once I did assure thee I would join rebellion ranks, and here I am e'en now. Shall be like olden times on Tatooine, dear friend, it gives me comfort for to see thee here. Even death could come and welcome thee, because I know that thou dost ride beside. This R2 unit hath no better days. Wouldest thou a fit replacement for it find? Thou nay sayest thou I have known better days. I'll better my days yet upon thy pit. Nay, say not so, for R2 hath been mine through many an adventure and belike, hath exploits still it undergo. Beep squeak! Oh, be thou safe, dear R2, and return, for thou wouldst not that my existence should become a bore. O oh, fate, I prithee, keep them safe, my master and my only friend, else should I find a lonely, tragic end. As our scene shifts to space so deep and dark, O oh, your imagination will hold sway. For neither players nor the stage can mark the great and mighty scene they must portray. We ask you, let your keen mind's eye be chief. Think when we talk of starships, there they be. If you can soon suspend thy disbelief, the Death Star battle shall you plainly see. So now, the preparation made with care, toward the Death Star rides the noble fleet. By whir of engines, rebels take the air, with courage strong, their unknown fate to me. The Death Star doth approach, and shall within the range of Yavin's rebel base arrive within these fifteen minutes. Lo! Alert! Good men, each now shall speak and state his name. Red ten doth here stand by. Red seven doth stand by. Red three doth here stand by. Red six doth here stand by. Red nine doth here stand by. Red two doth here stand by. Red eleven doth here stand by. Red five doth here stand by. We have our numbers, yet our souls have names. For I am Luke Skywalker, here beside my friends, Good bigs and wedge and tills. Two no war shall render us unto mere threes and twos and fives. We ride, for ride we must, and here we ride in Ben's most worthy name. True, here we ride in Leia's noble name. Ay, here we ride in Alderaan's slain name. Oh, here we ride for all the names which have throughout our lives been written on our hearts. Our debt to them is past all numbering. Now lock thine espoils in attacking mode. We shall pass through the thin magnetic field. Use your deflector shields and form in line. I prithee, men, take care and be ye bold. Pray peace, Red Two. Now all accelerate unto the speed wherein we may attack. The time is here, good men. Tis not to come, it will be now. The readiness is all. Red Leader, dost thou hear me? Verily. The gold team leads unto the target shaft. We have a positive position reached. Thus shall I fly across the access, for to draw the fire whilst thou dost penetrate. The rebel ships now make their first attack and fire unto the Death Star's iron walls. The Empire shoots with lethal laser back. Tis death to anyone who hear it fall. The volleys fall from close at hand. I see. Red 5 reporting. Swiftly I go in. My first attempt it falls, oh hit the mark! With courage rare, Luke makes initial pass and blasts his way unto the Death Star's hull. But now manoeuvres he too close, alas, shall he escape the fire's most deadly pull? How goes it, Luke? I nearly cooked my goose, but all is well. Now shall I take more care? Full thirty ships descend upon us, sir. So small are they, our lasers pass them by. Aye, then shall we destroy them ship to ship. Tell thou the crews, be ready to attack. Now take ye care, good men. Great fire doth rage from outside of the harsh deflection tower. I stand prepared. Now, 
Shall I strike? Pray give me thy good cover, Porkins. Stand I strong and ready to give thee aid, Red Three. Now bravely bigs dost render sharp, hard blast unto the evil Death Star's armoured side. The Empire's fire unto his mate hath passed, and now Red Six doth face a troubled ride. Disaster strikes! Eject forsooth! I may yet see it right! Anon pull up! Nay, nay, I shall warrant that that shall be... In seven minutes shall the Death Star be within the range of our fair rebel base. As rebel spirits with great strength redound, a voice speaks unto Luke as to a son. Luke hears the voice and its familiar sound. Tis his old friend and master, Obi-Wan. Pray, trust thy feelings, Luke. I hear this voice and know it well. O oh, me, speak thou again, and heed the voice, my soul, and trust thyself. On Ben's command, I'll strike a hearty blow. Squad leaders, mark me well. New fighters have appeared and come toward you presently. Employ thy visual scanning, they approach. Red Seven, thou hast one on thy rear. My ship is hit. Now must I die, dear friend. Good friends, if thou dost catch an enemy behind thy ship, I prithee watch it well. No, am I plagued by such a one? Help, help! For neither can I see where he doth go. He flies so close that my manoeuvres fail. Hold fast, great bigs, till I can give thee aid. Upon the enemy I fly and shoot. Luke, thou has a life returned to me. So may I one day give to thee in turn. I prithee, soldiers, let us hence away, for many of our fighters are removed from their own fleet. Thus let us swiftly go and straightway make pursuit of these rogue ships. Oh, Luke! Thou art pursued! Pull in! Pray, guard thy back, good Luke. More fighters do approach. I've been hit, but not unto the death. Small R2, see if thou the damage canst repair. Hang thou on, good droid. Red ten, canst thou see where there's gone, red five? A heavy fire appears upon the side. Red five, where art thou? Here, but cannot shake the villain who doth hotly follow me. I come for thee, good Luke. Be not afraid. Oh, fie, my dear friend Biggs, where canst thou be? Thou promised that thou oust to me a life. But where is now that help of which thou spokest? T'was partly for our friendship I'm here. For long I wished to join thee as thou fought, and many were the tales adventurous thou broughtst with thee whilst visiting our home when still I worked the crops on Tatooine. But now hast thou deserted me, old friend. When I am even at the door of death, hast thou both flown and fled? Say, nay, dear Biggs! Take that, thou scoundrel face! Imperial scum! Great thanks, good wedge! Heroically hast thou done! Red leader, hear my word. The gold team shall begin our swift attack into the trench. Godspeed, gold leader. Go with might and strength. I fly and fly towards my enemies. This day the dark side of the force shall reign, as I disrupt the weak rebellion's plans and with my men destroy their every foot. Good pilots both remain set for attack. The port for the exhaust hath been locked in and marked. That hole shall make us whole, my mates. Now, switch thy power to front deflector screens. Go five. What sayst thou? Canst thou count the guns? Be like tis twenty, yon and hither both, upon the surface and within the towers. Within five minutes shall the Death Star be upon our rebel base and set to strike. Aye, aye, they come. Three ships at point two turn. I have received a signal on. The ship's computer that the port will soon be in our range, but soft good friends, what's this? The guns, it seemeth that their guns have stopped. So watch thy rear and stabilize thy shields. Perhaps an enemy doth come behind. Aye, aye, they come. Three ships at point two turn. The battle heats as Vader and his men approach the threefold members of Group Gold. The Empire's hate will be fulfilled when Darth makes his power known with blows full bold. I shall destroy the rebels vile myself. Just give me thy good cover and tis done. Now shoot I once and death is the result. I have no power to-
to manoeuvre. Fie! Stay thou on target. Nay, we run too close. Stay thou on target. Wretch, pray, give me room. Gold Five doth this ill news report. We have lost Dutch and Pyrie both. In troth, I hear. Stay ready. From behind they do attack. So much of desolation and of death. Is this rebellion worth the lives here lost? Yet I would gladly my life give to it. Thus reason not the need, my troubled soul. Whilst all the rebels mourn the loss of life, upon the Death Star tensions have been proved. The rebels' plan hath reared this threat of strife, but Governor Tarkin stands assured, unmoved. The rebel sharp attack hath been well probed, and now it doth appear a danger looms. I do confess my love to thee, good sir, and would my very life lay down for thee. Wouldst thou that I make ready thine own ship, that thou mayst flee should fighting turn to death? Retreat whilst we do win the day. You jest! Forsooth, I stand unmoved like a rock. The Death Star shall within three minutes be upon the rebel base. Red boys, tis I, thy tried and true red leader. We shall meet upon the mark at 6.1. Make haste. Red 2, doth stand obedient at thy side. Red 3, doth come. I hear and understand, good sir. Now, Luke, take thou Red 2 and 3 with thee and wait upon my signal, ere thou makest thy run. Now hence we go, an empire for to slay. Red leader with the others, twelve and ten, make their descent into the trench with speed. Their bravery, cunning, and their acumen may give these men the victory they need. Dost thou agree it should be in our sights? Pray keep thine eyes a-watching for those ships that hath our comrades cruelly destroyed. The interference hath become too wide. Red five, canst thou see them where they stand? I see no ships. But wait! I they approach! They come at point three five. I see them now. My ship hath come in range of that sly port, the port that hath evaded us so far. But now, I now, the target shall be mine. If ye good friends may hold them there a while, I shall this battle end with one swift stroke. Close in, my lads. We three shall ride as one. Hey, almost there. Else we die too. Hey, almost there. They're set up on my back. I can no more withstand their quick attack. I shoot, I shoot. The rebels' glory shoot. The blast hath left the shaft. Hast hit, hast hit. Is victory yet within our sight? Alas, my finest effort I have given. And yet the blast falls errant and doth miss the mark. Tis but an impact on the surface. Oh! Red leader, be thou not dismayed. We shall protect thee even now. Turn thou toward the point, O five, and we shall cover thee. Nay, save me not. My engine hath been crushed and death is welcome now. Instead, dear Luke, good wedge. Brave Biggs, be thou prepared for thy run, for thou art now our only hope. The Death Star now in but a minute shall upon the rebel base on the Avin come. Once more unto the trench, dear friends, once more. The death of our dear friends we see today, and by my troth their souls shall be avenged. I was not angry since I came to space until this instant. Strike at us, and thou shalt note the power of this force, thou brute, thou empire full of hate and evil deeds. Aye, pluck us down, and we shall rise again. Our cause is not alone for these good men who here were killed today. Our cause is not alone for those on Alderaan who died. Our cause is for the truth, for righteousness, for anyone who ere oppression knew. Tis not rebellion for the sake of one. Tis not a cause to serve a privileged few. This moment shall resound in history for every person who would freedom know. So Biggs, stand with me now and be my aid. And Wedge, fly at my side to lead the charge. We three, we happy three, we band of brothers, shall fly onto the trench with throttles full. We stand with thee, ready for the fight. But Luke, 
at that quick pace, shall thou escape before thy speedy ship is blown in twain? Twill be like Beggar's Canyon back at home. The youth descend at once into the trench, wherein their fates shall surely written be. Darth Vader, close behind, prepares to quench his thirst upon the blood of martyrs three. We shall stand fast at hand to give thee help. My scope doth show the tower, but the port appeareth not. How certain art thou, Luke, that our computers each can hit the mark? Good pilot, watch thyself. Increase to fall. I prithee, what shall we do about the tower? Give thou unto the enemy thy thoughts, but let the tower be my concern alone. Now, R2, fix the stabiliser that hath once more come unhinged. Pray, fix it fast. Now shall I be not full, but fix. The fighters are behind us at point three. They come up on my rear too fast. I have been hit. I must depart, my friends. Aye, get thee clear, good wedge. Thou shalt not help our cause if thy ship flieth not. Anon, and live to fight another day with me. With all my heart, I truly wished thee well. Aye, let him go, the leader we pursue. Make haste, though, Luke. Methinks they do approach even faster than before. I shall not hold them back for long. Now, R2, straight increase the power. Beep, squeak, beep, beep. Make haste, Luke. Oh, alas! That ever should I see this day. Oh, woe! My childhood friend from Tatooine now slain, protecting me from harm. Thou oust a life. Dear Biggs, sweet Biggs, and thou hast paid. And now it is down to me, the boy turned warrior. Be still, my errant heart, and seek the force. The leader now is mine. Beep, beep, squeak. Take care, sweet R2-D2. Come now back, I pray. Luke's ship comes closer to the little port, while Vader and his crew draw all too near. Young Luke to his computer doth resort until he hears the voice speak in his ear. Oh, use the force, dear Luke. Let go and trust. I sense the force in this one here, almost as if I did my younger self espy. The hearing of these words is like a balm unto my soul. So shall I trust the Force and not this fallible computer here? What is this, Luke? Thy targeting machine hath been turned off. What can be wrong? Pray tell. Nay, all is well. Fear not, good friends. Beep, 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 beep. Ah! Small R2-D2 hath been lost. The Death Star now has come within our range. Commander, thou mayst fire when thou hast made all goodly preparation thereunto. Now face thy death, thou rebel. Now in a trice, brave Han is on the sea. The smugger hath returned an errand kind. With sly approach he makes his way unseen, and slays the imperial pilots from behind. But how? Thy path is clear, young Luke. Now do thy deed and let us all make way back home. I stretch my feelings out and use the force, and on the instant seems the porthole vast, not small or difficult to strike, but large. The ship is armed, and now I take the chance. The blast away, and with all it, our hopes! The laser hits its mark with certain aim, and as the Death Star arms to strike the base, the chain reaction sets the orb aflame. The Death Star has exploded into space. Thy timely blast hath hit the perfect mark. One in a million was thy force-filled shot. Remember me, O oh Luke. Remember me. And ever shall the force remain with thee. O oh, Leia! Luke, thou didst succeed. Hey ho! Good friend, I knew thou wast return, I knew thou must, t'was in thy spirit good. Thou gentle soul, I knew thou wert of sterner stuff than money made. Who oh, art to, art to, canst thou hear me? Speak, canst thou repair him? Say thou canst, I beg. 
If any of my parts may be of use, pray say the word. Fear not, he'll be made whole. We shall at once begin our best repair. Now ends a noble quest, a battle won. Now hath the true adventure reached its goal. Now hath the good rebellion faced its foe and triumphed, though it seemed that all was lost. Along the way, dear friends, were lost and made. Along the way, strange creatures have we found. The stories have been told, the villains met. The griefs and exultations all played out. A chance for new beginnings we have made, directing hearts unto the rebels' cause. These are the star wars we have fought and won, for now our battles and our scenes are done. Now dawns a new day with the sun of peace, the day whereon the rebels welcome fate. For from their enemies they find release, and now with mirth they come to celebrate. Young Luke, strong in the force, doth walk beside the noble Han, whose valour won the day. The rebels form an isle and rise with pride, as Luke and Han march forth in grand display. Now Leia smiles and gives them their reward, as each bows low, with hope and joy sincere. C-3PO and R2 now restored, look on as brave Chewbacca sounds the cheer. There, let our heroes rest, free from attack. Till darkness rise, an empire striketh back.